And now let's go to the program and I'll show you how to do mm, simple examination with our system. At first, let's start a program. Here it is a yellow label. We make a double click. Program starts. Our program is standard Windows program. Here you can see a menu with some menu commands. And uh, all actions can be done with this menu. But also we have some buttons. These buttons are here only for more uh, fast execution of the commands. Also, we have some big buttons. And here you can see exam manager with previously done examinations. How to create a new examination? There are a few ways. You can execute some menu command as exam new. Or you can click this button, create new exam. Or you can click this big button, new exam. I can do it now. Or you can use special hotkey. And also you can use uh, some buttons on the device keyboard. Let's start here, new exam. Now it is new exam window. Now it's necessary to input patient name. For example, this one. Then I press tab key and go to patient sex. And I press space key to input patient sex mail. Then I can, can press tab key one more time. Also, I can use a mouse and a device keyboard here. And now I am in birth date field. And please your attention. Sometimes our customers complain that in our program, it's not easy to input birth date. In reality, it is very easy. You only now need to type six digits. For example, 12 of July, it will be 07 and year 95 and another a time tab key. That's all, it's very easy. Only six digits without any other actions. If you will input, uh, explore, examine F-Wave, for example, you uh, have to input patient height here because some reference values depends on the patient height. Now I can input or not input some other fields and click OK here and you examine starts. Here in clinical info window, you can input some patient anamnesis or some other useful information. And then our task is to select what technique you would like to do and what muscle and nerve exam, examine. How to do it? You can use menu command test new. And here in this window, you will see all possible techniques that can be done with our system. You can select now, for example, technique interference EMG and test template. Test template includes muscle, nerve, amplification parameters and some other necessary information. But more easy, more easy is to use this uh, toolbar. It is a special toolbar with them, the most common techniques and all techniques can be um, done here with these special buttons. For example, if I would like to make motor conduction velocity, I will click this button, a motor CV, it will be first mouse click. And then I select muscle nerve, for example, medianus abductor pollicis brevis and right patient side, and it will be second mouse click. And here we are. We made only two mouse clicks, but with these two mouse clicks, we made three choices. At first, we selected technique motor conduction velocity, we select muscle and nerve, and we select patient side. Three choices with only two mouse clicks. It's very easy. Also, all these actions can be done directly from the device keyboard without mouse. 
And now I would like to show you that in our system, it's possible to make some demo to show all possibilities of our system without device and without patient. All you need here to check on this checkbox, turn on emulation mode and click OK button. And now we are in demo mode. Now the doctor task is to place electrodes on the patient. If doctor, for example, doesn't remember how to do it, it's possible now to press F1 key on the keyboard and see help window information. Now you can see all information, where to place electrodes, where to place electrical stimulator. And then we place electrodes. And after it, if you'd like, you can measure impedance, but it is not necessary. And after impedance measuring, you can start acquisition, place electrical stimulator and start acquisition with this button, for example, or also more helpful will be these buttons on the device. Now we can see final response and our task now is to increase stimulus intensity. As you can see, I increase stimulus and also amplitude of our response increases. But from some value of the stimulus intensity, it doesn't increase any more response. Because now we have such a big current that all motor units are activated. And now we have uh, the biggest stimulus response. We can take it into analysis. Then we have to go to the other side. Here you can see uh, some tooltip next side elbow and continue our acquisition. Here it is another good response. We can take it into analysis. And here you can see two responses. If you'd like that uh, marker positions are not good, you can correct it with the mouse and also it can be done from the device keyboard. It's very easy. And now doctor have to measure accurate distances. You can see that we have some distances here. It is from the test template and distances by default. But in reality, the, it can be some other uh, distance. We have to correct them. And the velocity is calculated automatically. After this technique, you have you can go some other technique. You can record as many techniques as you like. And at the end of your examination, you have to create a report. Report is very easy to create in our system, only to click this button, create a new report. I made this click, and you can see here we can get this nice, a nice response, a report. It is fully editable. You can type here any information as you like. You can print it, give it to the patient. And after it, it's necessary to close the examination and save data. As you can see, it is very easy.